I'm Peter Murray Rust uh, and this is my application for a second year of Shuttleworth Fellowship. Here's PMR presenting the vision at Wikimania this year. So, uh, I'm going to talk about Content Mine, which is a project which is funded uh, by the Shuttleworth Foundation, which has given me the opportunity uh, to build something completely new and different. Um, so, we are going to use machines to liberate scientific facts on a massive scale, uh, and we're going to put them in Wikidata. We've created a great team over the last year, and they'll tell you their roles. Hi there, my name is Ross Mounts. Um, we're here to analyse PLOS, BMC, PeerJ, eLife, and the Hargreaves Allowed Corpus. Articles contain facts. They also may have associated supplementary materials. A journal contains many articles. Some journals publish a vast number of articles. There are many journals, many of which have restrictions. So at the end of the day, there are billions of facts trapped in a galaxy of articles. We've tried this out on uh, many people in our workshops, and they've gone through, and you can see how they've marked up different things uh, with different um, colours. And that's what we're going to ask the machine to do. So here's a machine. Uh, this is how a machine might see a bit of science. You don't need to understand this, but you can see the different things uh, that a machine might be able uh, to pick up. And we can mine data as well. Every bit of information in this image has been extracted and can be further manipulated. Richard and the rest of the team have a generic solution. We've built an ecosystem of open source software for data mining the entire academic literature. And we've also grown a community of volunteers who help us maintain it. And now we're actually ready to go live and, and start doing content mining on a daily basis on a massive scale. We start with the scientific literature, we crawl it, we scrape it, uh, we extract it. And then we're going to take the results and put it in Wikidata. And uh, what we need uh, is we need more uh, science plugins. So I've written a chemistry one, I've written a phylogenetic tree one. We need people to do maps, we need people to do um, birds, we need people to do stars. This is our application software. Uh, this is what we've been concentrating on at the moment and what we're immediately going to do. It's based on a plugin architecture so that every discipline can create a plugin specifically for its needs. We need to spread the word and train people, and Jenny tells us how. It's historically been very difficult to use content mining technologies, which has led to a huge skills deficit. We're trying to address this by running international workshops and also creating a repository of open online materials so that anyone researching anywhere in the world can find out how to do content mining. Jenny and Puneet have just run a workshop in New Delhi. Uh, quick scrape has been really interesting. Uh, I was wondering if you have any way the way you have the ME species functioning going on, is it possible to have, let's say I'm interested in 100 papers? Yes, we're already doing literature research on the variety of plants and the chemicals they produce. Steph explains our resources. As part of our commitment to remaining open, we're creating a modular resource base for teaching and learning content mining so that we can make sure that our project is accessible to wider audiences. Here's what we've already achieved. Uh, we've run several workshops, we're collaborating with a lot of different organisations and people, we're working with publishers, uh, we've applied for grants, and we've already got several publications. We assert that the right to read is the right to mine. We're starting the daily extraction right now. PLOS One, then BMC, then PeerJ, and then moving on to the closed journals which is now legal in UK. So to sum up, uh, we're going to start extracting facts now and grow this rapidly month by month. Uh, we're going to develop uh, more workshops and train people uh, to do the workshops uh, by themselves. Uh, we're also going to create a community of developers uh, and scientists so that they'll decide what can be done uh, and build the tools and the protocols to run that. And finally, we're going to look and see how content mine can become self-sustaining.